Let's see how to view and edit issues in Jira Cloud. There are several ways to work with issues in Jira Cloud. First, you'll notice that Jira Cloud doesn't have an issues menu in the navigation bar. Instead, you can search for issues using the quick search field, or you can use the new filters menu to find issues using available filters. Search results are listed on the advanced search page, where you can select issues and view and edit the issue details. Of course, if you want to work with an issue that's visible on a board, you can simply click the issue to view and edit its details. By default, the issue details appear in a pop-up dialog. If you'd like the details to appear next to the board instead of in a dialog, click the More icon, the three dots, and select Open Issues in Sidebar. You can switch back to the dialog view by selecting Open Issues in Dialog from the same menu. To work on multiple issues in a project, including issues that don't appear on the current board, you can click the Issues link in the sidebar. This brings up the Issue Navigator where all issues in the project are listed, along with the details of the selected issue. There are convenient filters at the top of the page that enable you to narrow down the list of issues. Let's go ahead and edit the details of an issue. The way the default fields are arranged is slightly different than how they appear in Jira Server, but all the same information is available. You may see more or fewer fields depending on how your team's administrator has configured your Jira project. In this tutorial, we're working with Jira's default field configuration. Let's change the issue status, assign the issue to someone, and set a different priority. Additional fields are visible by clicking the Show More link. Let's log some work against this issue. And let's add a comment. From this page, we can also create subtasks. When we're finished with all our changes, we can continue working with more issues or we can click Back to Project and select a different board or project or return to the board we were currently working on. Be sure to check out other tutorials in this series to learn more about Jira Cloud.